I'm Jennifer, and um, gosh, the dating stories, they kind of go on forever, but the one that I am talking about today happened a few years back. He picks me up, and we went to this amazing sushi restaurant, and we're sitting there having a great time, and I'm like, oh, you know, in my head, like, can I date this guy? Like, it's really good, kind of half listening to what he's saying and, like, listening to myself aside, and then he goes, you know, he's like, just want to go ahead and bring something up. Later tonight, I would love to kiss you goodnight, and I'm not going to be able to. He's like, oh. Okay, and he's like, you know, I'm kind of having a little breakout, like a fever blister, and I don't see anything. Like, there's nothing there. He's like, well, not really like a fever blister, like, you know, herpes. With sushi everywhere, he opens up his mouth and leans in for me to uh, look inside of his mouth, and I'm like, what exactly am I looking for? He's like, you know, they're, like he's kind of pointing with his mouth up, and I'm like, you know, I, I still kind of don't understand. Like, I, I get that it's something not good and that it's herpes, but like, to me, mouth herpes are fever blisters and you get them when the sun comes out or whatever. And he goes, no, and he goes, ah! Like, he just comes at me across the table with his mouth open. Sushi's like, it's like platters of sushi. It means everywhere. And here's this big mouth coming at me like a predator. It's like the predator mouth. And it's coming at me full steam ahead for me to look in and see his blisters. What you would think is probably worse than what was even in there, but I don't really know how you salvage it. He tried to come back from it and he's like, I got this whenever I was going down on a girl and she had a herpes breakout. The, what immediately goes through my head is how smart can this guy be? Because like you're going down on a girl and you somehow just miss the fact that she's got a herpes outbreak. Like that's a little concerning to me. But what am I going to do with that? Like I'm eating sushi and I'm never going to kiss that mouth. Like it's the, the moment's gone. Like it's never going to be whenever that gets better after you show me the inside of your mouth. I do appreciate his honesty like I appreciate that he felt like he needed to share that with me for future so I can make a decision if I wanted to kiss that mouth or not I just don't know if I'm ever gonna look at a tuna roll the same way again I hope you enjoyed my date stories for more crazy date stories look here